Hello, Caber Tossing fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Uh, for the next week, I want to talk about a topic that isn't necessarily specific to digital forensics, but certainly uh, when it comes up, it's, uh, well, hmm, leads to some interesting conversations. Full disclosure. I do criminal defense work and I have for the past 20 plus years. Uh, I've also done, uh, you know, casework in, in many other legal arenas, civil on, on either side of the fence, whether it be the, the uh, respondent or the plaintiff. And, uh, you know, it's not well looked upon by many people. They say, uh, well, especially in digital forensics, because probably the most heinous of crimes, the uh, child exploitation type cases, people say, how can you defend that scumbag? Well, we don't know they're a scumbag at first. Uh, that remains to be proven by the court. My job is not to the def to the accused. My role is to the trier of fact. And we're going to spend the rest of the week talking about five uh, very important tenets of uh, criminal defense and, and what my role is and what I strive to do in every criminal case that I might get involved in. So then people say, well, Kevin, how do you sleep at night doing cases like this? Well, very well, actually. Uh, I always take a retainer because I do get clients who are guilty and they think that they can lie their way out of everything. And I say to their to their clients, you know, uh, right now there's one person in the room who knows exactly what happened. And when I'm done, there's going to be two. Um, this isn't like so many other types of, uh, you know, uh, uh, criminal defense proceedings where you can hire an expert to say whatever you need them to say to support your client's position. In digital forensics, the data does not lie. It's either there or it's not. I can't make it something that it's not. And so if the prosecution does their job properly, I'm the defense's worst witness because I'm just going to say, well, yeah, they got it right. And uh, everything they say is correct. I, I agree with their findings. And, and, and that's the bottom line. So, you know, I, I've seen and worked and represented a number of people who were 100% innocent and would have gone to jail for incredibly long times because they couldn't explain how this material got on the computer. In one terrible case, it was actually law enforcement that put it on the computer and didn't realize they'd done it and then charged the person with it. Well, if somebody couldn't explain what happened, this guy would be sitting in jail today. Terrible, terrible thing, mistakes happen. We need those checks and balances. So as I say, for the next week, we're going to talk about the five things that I address, that I'm looking for in every digital forensics for criminal defense case that I work in. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.